And another thing that they might do for that next generation is a new type of cooling, which you've heard about. We've talked about a number of times on Unbox Therapy. Vapor chamber cooling. Sounds so advanced. Sounds so Very fun. Cool. It's, a, it's like a water-cooled PC. Of course, it doesn't work that way at all. It's, you, you can't even really call it water-cooled. It's vapor. And uh, we've seen it in some gaming phones that aim at insane performance. Like the ROG phone had that type of cooling in it. Apple has tremendous potential with this type of cooling because their chips are already just uh, exceeding people's expectations. I mean, they're leading the market, right, for performance. You you tag along with some vapor chamber cooling to go with whatever, what, what are they going to call it, A15, and then maybe you bring up that performance and those benchmarks even further, create even more space in the market. Yeah. You, you've tried the iPhone 12. Has there ever been any heating issues? Mm -mm. No, right? No, not at all. Uh. Uh, I'm not gaming. I'm not, you know, it's funny. When it comes to the smartphone, we got all these gaming phones coming out, all these phones with just ridiculous specs, like the latest uh, S21 Ultra with 16 gigs of RAM. <laughs> and so you're sitting there saying, man, this thing, I, I actually have laptops with less RAM than the phone, yeah. right? Yeah. At this point. But, but funny enough, I would say that when it comes to resource intensive tasks on a smartphone, for me, I'm not video editing on a smartphone. I'm doing limited gaming on a smartphone. Some of the games I enjoy would just be like a stupid kind of puzzle-based game that doesn't even require. Although even that, I don't really play. So for me, when it comes to intensive use of any of these devices, it's in the camera, particularly high-resolution right. video recording. Then I can get the device to be hot. Yeah. But that's relatively infrequent, and it would be some clips, and then it would cool down, and that wouldn't be an issue. So that's mm -hmm. my experience. But anyway... This could, could take it a step better. Vapor chamber cooling evaporates liquid, typically water, with the heat that's coming from the phone's internal components, and that spreads the heat across the whole phone so that the, well, the device doesn't overheat and potentially performs better. I mentioned it in the ROG phone, previous version, but it's been in a lot of phones, actually, mm -hmm. uh, not just that one. 